Hi, I'm Clayton with Springfield Leather Company, and Kevin and Rusty have asked me to help introduce some new products that we got from Rinian. It's pretty exciting stuff. I got some samples of these products, oh, probably over a year ago now, and I got to try them out for a while, use up our samples, and I, I burned through them. I loved them. Uh, and it took us a while to get these products in-house, but they're finally here, and I am excited about it. Uh, they are special because they are water-based, which is pretty exciting. It means we can ship them to some places that we might not be able to ship other solvent-based adhesives. Uh, you can use them on other projects and they don't smell. They don't have that crazy strong odor that just burns your nose and makes everybody nauseous that's in the room. Um, what's pretty great, especially about a product like this, we've got uh, Klebfest or Klebfest. Uh, I've used this on a lot of projects using oil tan leather that you can't get any other adhesives to stick the leather together. Um, I'll use it on the flesh side and the key to this product seems to be spreading it on thin and letting it dry. You have plenty of open face time. You can put it on both sides of the leather that you want to stick and let it stay open for 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes even and still be able to stick it together. The key is you don't want to stick it too soon while it's wet. Now I'll show you, I'll go ahead and put just a little bit of this on. Like I said, you want to spread, spread it thin. And to do that, we've got these handy little silicone spatulas. These are really handy, I'm building up a little bit on the edge and just using it to apply. Oh, see, I got plenty of it on there. That is probably far too much for this piece, but using this handy spatula, you can kind of get it built up on the edge and just kind of scrape it off as you go and get a, a nice thin layer on there. Something like that. So we'll go ahead and let those dry to clear before we stick them together. While that's drying, we'll talk about this other adhesive. Aqualim, Aqualim 315, which is also water-based. This stuff has been fantastic for veg tans. I've used it to make a couple, like conceal and carry belts, uh, sticking a couple plies of vegetable tan leather together, flesh side to flesh side. If you want to stick the grain side of veg tan together with using this adhesive, you'll want to rough it up a little bit first and, and use it on a more porous material. Um, it does work somewhat well with oil tans, but really for oil tans, I, I recommend the Cleave Fest. So this is kind of the same deal as the Cleave Fest. You want to spread it on thin and wait for it to turn clear. And you've got plenty of open face time. We've also got these handy brushes, which can help you do more detailed gluing, like going right along the edge. A little bit spread on there, and we'll do the same to the other side. And we'll let that dry for a moment. Like I said, these glues are water-based and they don't smell like crazy. We use some other products in the shop that are solvent-based, and let me tell you, we hear about it from the girls in the office all the time. We get the fumes that drift all throughout the store, and it is strong. So that moves me on to super glue. Now you wouldn't necessarily think use, about using super glue in leather crafting. At least I wouldn't. I've usually stuck to more traditional leather adhesives. But this is a special super glue that stays flexible as it, once it dries. And I know I've had problems in the past with gluing oil tan together, grain side to grain side, or the finished sides together. I did a little piece here. This is some very oily, oily leather. It's our Oxford Excel. And I placed a little bit of super glue on both sides and stuck it together and it would not come apart until the grain ripped off. I was impressed. I'll go ahead and apply a little bit here. I've got some of the same oil tan leather. Let's see here. I've got one of these bottles open and the other isn't. Stick it on there and just use it like a traditional super glue. I know the bottle says to spread it into a thin layer. You can do that and get a little more coverage, but just for time's sake, we're gonna go ahead and stick these together. And you wanna apply pressure to it for about a minute. 
and it dries pretty quick. It is super glue. And it'll stick your fingers together just like regular super glue. But like I said, it stays flexible, which makes it usable in leather projects. Once it's dry, it doesn't crack. And still bend the leather around. It does stiffen a little bit, but it is certainly usable for this purpose. You can see this leather is still flexible. Like I said, it's it's a little bit stiffer, but but it does pretty well and it dries quick. You can see here already it just peeling it apart takes some effort and it just tears the grain right off. Ugh. Now that is impressive for the grain side of oil tan leather to go together like that. I am pretty happy with that. You can also use it for purposes like, um, you know, fixing the end of a stitch. You know, maybe you finish up hand stitching you wanna, or, you know, fixing the lace to your project, things like that. All right, now that we got these this glue cured here on the leather that we spread out, it's ready to stick together. And this glue's come dry. I've spread this one a little bit thinner, so it's definitely ready to stick together. It doesn't take much. It's just got one little strip right there on the edge that we're gonna stick together. Just kind of press a little bit. If I had a roller, I'd probably roll over it a time or two and kind of let it cure. This piece, it looks pretty well ready to stick together. I put it on a little bit too thick, like I said, so you can still see a little bit of the white spots there where it's not fully transparent. But we'll go ahead and stick them together. It's still gonna work. It is a very impressive product for, especially for oil tan leathers. This is the Cleave Vest, and here with the Veg Tan is the Aqualim 315. Cleave Vest also works great with Veg Tan. I just like to use it specifically for oil tan leathers. So we'll get those stuck together there. And letting these cure for an hour or two does, does do some good, but already these are going to be stuck together pretty well. And the glue, you know, if you're just tacking a project until you can stow it, sew it or put a stitch in it, it works great. Veg tan especially, this stuff's going to be stuck very well. You know, like I said, I use it for, for putting belts together. Um, it does great. Our last product we have here is this 0.9 liter glue pot. Uh, it's called the TS, the TS Boy glue pot. And it's made by Rinia. This would be extremely handy to have on your workbench. It is an auto feed glue pot. Take your cap off here. You've got your handy brush that comes with it. You fill up your glue pot holding it up like this. Flip it over and it auto feeds your glue right into the dispenser here. Dip your brush in, get the excess off, and go at your project. When you're done, stick the cap, the brush right in the cap, stick it in there, and it keeps the brush from curing. The fumes keep the, the glue on the brush from curing, and the glue stays fresh. Overall, extremely handy products. I'm really excited to have them, like I said. Let us know if you have any questions, and um, we'd be happy to get some in your hands.